What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and in this video I'm a bit late to a topic but there's still more than enough time to get yourself going with it. Currently the Steam Winter Sale is active but for the people searching for this video, more importantly, comes a new badge and trading cards. So of course it may be a bit confusing to get started but how exactly do we get free cards that we can craft this badge with? Well, simply heading across to the Steam Awards voting page, we see a whole bunch of categories that we can vote for. And if you look closely, you'll see you'll also earn a random card from this year's set of winter sale trading cards for each vote that you cast. So, what exactly can we do here? Well, simply scrolling down, we'll start by voting for the first category you have available. All you have to do is look at the title and then simply vote for a game that you'd like. For VR Game of the Year, I'll probably vote for, say, Half-Life Alex. After voting for one, you should get a pop-up on your screen saying that you got an item. If you haven't, you can click the notification section and then click across to your inventory where you'll see one or two trading cards. I of course have voted on one just before starting this video, so I have two trading cards in my inventory. Clicking on one of them, we see some info on it. Valid until the 5th of February 2021 at 1900, I think, GMT plus 2. Currently, it's marketable and tradable, which is great. So, all you have to do is simply scroll down the page and vote in every single one of these categories first for the easiest to get cards. Then we'll get into some other methods in just a moment. So, after you reach the very bottom and you've voted for one game in each category, you should end up with a total of 10 cards because there's 10 categories. At the very bottom, we'll see some FAQ and a couple of other ways that we can get Steam cards. So, number one is by simply crafting badges. By crafting normal card badges with cards that you buy off the market, trade for, or play games for, you'll get a random card from the Steam Award 2020 collection added to your inventory, one per badge level created. Then we can also get it as a reward for purchasing from the Steam store. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere around a dollar per card or something like that. Then, of course, voting, which we've already done, browsing your discovery queue, which is arguably the best way of doing this if you return to it daily, trading cards with friends, or simply purchasing off the market. While the last one is very obvious, if you haven't already done this before, browsing your discovery queue is the easiest way to get free cards after completing the voting section. Heading back to the store, all you have to do is scroll down a little bit. And if you see a banner like this, enjoy free Festa Bird stickers celebrating your favorite games throughout the holidays, you'll be taken across to the point shop where you can simply claim it by clicking up here and then clicking get sticker. And you'll get a sticker every couple of days, so remember to return to this point shop page. To get back here, all you have to do is look at the Steam Store. At the very top, simply click point shop. But back on with grabbing free cards, scrolling down, you'll see this section here, your queue. Usually, it doesn't look anything like this, but of course it's got the Steam cards in the top left, meaning that we can get them from completing this. If we have a look at it, we see explore great deals one game at a time, plus get a free trading card each day just by exploring your discovery queue. So, clicking to start your queue, what we have to do is simply click next in queue 11 times to cycle through 11 games and we'll get ourselves a free card. Now, of course, depending on your internet and computer speed, this can be shorter or longer but spam clicking through these is usually the easiest way to get them. And after we go through 10, we'll see finish queue. Clicking this, we get this here. You've completed your queue and have unlocked one event trading card. Come back tomorrow to earn another card by browsing your discovery queue. Before you used to be able to do this three times in a day, but I'm pretty sure if we go through this again, we won't get another card. And of course, after completing it again, we see that we haven't got any extra offers. At the very bottom here, if you're curious, you can see your queue activity, viewed 1,668 titles that I've seen, and then clicked next in queue. This is of course over the many years that I've been on Steam, so this number would probably be normal for most people, especially if they do this every year. Unfortunately, I was quite late to this. I'm pretty sure it started on the 10th or 13th, or at least a couple of days ago, meaning that I lost out on quite a bit, but I'm quite sure this continues up until the, say, 3rd. But anyways, once you collect all of your cards, you can, of course, head across to your profile, badges, and you should see it somewhere here. If you don't, and there's too many games, simply hit Control F and search for Steam Space Awards. Then we should be taken straight down to it. The Steam Awards 2020, 6 out of 10 cards collected. So I can click on it, and then we get this here. Unfortunately, I received 4 duplicate cards here, and the rest I've got 1 or 2. So I probably missed out on a chance of crafting a free badge, unless I wait, say, 1, 2, 3, 4 days, if I'm lucky, waiting each day for a new item in the queue. I can, of course, simply just scroll down and click Buy Remaining Cards on the Market. 
After setting the maximum price I'd like to pay, which I usually just round up to the nearest whole number and clicking place order, it'll purchase the cheapest under this maximum price for each of these cards. And if we head back a page, refresh, we should be able to craft the badge where of course, clicking craft a badge, We'll go ahead and cycle through everything, give you a couple of rewards, and that's that. Finally, I have one extra tip that will be incredibly useful for you, not only during these special events, but also throughout the year if you're one to craft badges and level up your Steam account like I am. If you use Chrome or Firefox, you're in luck. I developed a open source plugin that allows you to craft multiple badges at once from this page over here. Simply open up your browser and sign in through Steam. Then after locating your inventory, if you have Steam Inventory Helper, you'll have something like this over here and Steam DB I'm quite sure adds a couple of other buttons on this page. But if you head across to the next link in the description down below or simply just search for Techno Steam Card Assistant, you'll see something like this. A thousand plus users, I'm not too sure about the Mozilla version, but simply just click Add to Chrome. I currently have it installed. So unfortunately, you didn't see it a second ago as I had to quickly push out an update. Here's just proof that I'm programming it myself. This is the GitHub code that I'm actually changing here. Just so you know that I made it myself and it's perfectly safe, virus free, etc. Anyway, basically it adds this block over here as well as these multiple blocks next to the ready craft button. By clicking this ready button, it simply takes you across to the badges page where you can further inspect exactly what's in the badge. But my plugin adds a craft one or craft multiple button that when clicked will simply just craft as many badges as are available. If you have five of each card, it simply detects that clicking the button instantly crafts five. And from this page over here, if I click multiple, I can enter say five here. And after hitting OK, it'll run through that card five times and craft five levels for the badge as long as you own the cards to craft them. And at the very top of here, we have a craft one of each button that when clicked, simply crafts one of each that's available on the page and then shortly after refreshes. So as you saw there, we crafted one badge using my fancy button. There were still two badges that had to be crafted and simply clicking that craft one of all badge button simply just crafted one of each that was available. Even though we had already upgraded one of the badges that just quietly failed and it crafted the rest of them anyways. As you can see, it's still on level two, so it doesn't give you free levels. It just helps you craft badges a lot faster as there's currently basically no other way to speed up this process other than clicking craft, waiting 10 seconds, craft, waiting 10 seconds, etc. This plugin should hopefully speed up your life quite a bit. Now, of course, I'll have to publish this updated version and it'll take probably a couple of hours to maybe a day to fully update. So if you add this plugin to your browser and it doesn't seem to be working exactly as expected by default, simply just make sure that this video has been up for a good amount of time. Once again, this is the Chrome version that'll be linked in the description down below. It's got over a thousand users and this over here is the Mozilla page, which has the exact same plugin and it has a 69 user count. Nice. And if you're curious, you can simply follow this link over here and look for the GitHub link, which should be right here, or you can click it in the description down below to see exactly how this plugin was made and maybe even contribute yourself. So I'll go ahead and push the update now, just as extra proof, commit to master, push origin, And refreshing this page here, you'll see that it goes from six months ago to 13 seconds ago. I'll go ahead and push out the releases for Firefox and Chrome. And once again, I'll leave a comment down below when it's done. But anyways, besides that, my name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully you found some use in this video and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.